Hi, this is Henry Chamberlain and welcome to Board Briefings. I know some of you are saying, well, we've seen him standing in front of those old pictures before. Why is he doing that? Well, we have a lot of new BAEs. The BAE Leadership Conference will be here in a couple of weeks. I want to encourage people to come over and visit us here. We've got a wonderful collection of pictures going back almost 100 years. Bowman's 105 years old. Steve Hokinson, a former president of ours, we now call them chairs, collected these with his dad, Maynard Hokinson, who was actually chair back in the 50s, and Maynard's over here. Uh, but we have wonderful history. And of course, we just celebrated Seattle's 100th anniversary. Um, I've been out on the road the last few weeks, just got back from San Diego, where next year we'll be celebrating 50 years at our annual conference. Uh, we were in Orange County, where they're celebrating 30 years. And I was in Orlando just the other week. They're celebrating 30 years. So a lot of history. And one of the themes we get back to is something that Joe Markling's touched on this year is his theme, which is better by association. And it really resonates with audiences. When you start talking about what is the Bowman community, you've got to define with your local association. When you look at Bowman International, 93 associations in the US, Canada very well organized, another 13 international affiliates. Well, you represent 16,000 members. And with that 16,000 members, you have 9.9 .9 billion, let's just pick on office, 9.9 .9 billion square feet of office, which we just studied in an economic impact report which is on our website. You can find it on the left side. Some of you have already been using those numbers, but we defined the marketplace that all of those people are attached to as $205 billion in the United States. That generates 1.6 million real estate jobs. We have 1.2 million jobs of folks who feed off of the energy and the business that we're doing in the marketplace. And we house 44 million office workers. Well, when you say that to an audience, they get very excited about what they are a part of. And then you match that up with the kind of things that we've been able to accomplish in advocacy, in creating programs, the kind of training we put on, but also the problem solving network that BOMA represents in your community, in your state, in your region. And then collectively, it's unique. There's no other commercial real estate group that does what we do, has the kind of market presence and makes things happen there. So an ask I have for you as a board is to think about what is your piece of that marketplace? Define that in terms of your membership, but also your part of the economic impact study, and then attach that to the bigger universe. And what you're gonna find is people get very excited about what they're a part of. And this is 15 for 12 time in terms of membership. It's a great part of that pitch when you're talking about the value of getting involved in this organization. People really respond to the size of the community. So important for you to define that and that's a real opportunity for you to differentiate yourself in the marketplace and make something happen and get people involved. The second thing I would say with that is because of that dynamic network and those things that we're doing and what you get attached to, it's a great time to make a call for action. We need people to get involved in advocacy so we can beat off the referendums and impact our industry, create the curriculum, create those kind of business networking opportunities out there. So it's a great time to define yourself the size, get people excited, but then there should be an ask. You want them to get involved in the organization. I think those are two great conversations for you to have at an upcoming board meeting. I encourage you to do that, and thank you very much for listening.